What is up everyone? I am Banksy and welcome back to another super short track and series video. And today we're going to be going into Bristol Motor Speedway, which I am very excited to try out today. This will be our third race of the season. And this is getting a pretty tight race in our first two races. And I'll show you the standings in just a few minutes, but it's, it's looking to be pretty good, pretty racy. Got some guys that are, you know, showing some consistent speed and it's going to make it fun to see how the end of this season goes about and uh, y'all seem to be liking this video so we're just going to keep on a truck like a box but i hope you guys will enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and drop a thumbs up i feel like it's going to be a good one as like the other two have been so go ahead and do that we greatly appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the track in just a second all right ladies and gentlemen we are here at the startup screen, as you can see Bristol's next, as I just said, and I'm gonna show you the standings here. We are currently third in the standings, two points behind the top two guys who are tied in points. Uh, we are showing the most incidents throughout this series, so maybe with this next race, we'll try to limit that a little bit, but we have led some laps. We're in the top five, both races. Not a great starting position, but very good finishing position, which is what we want. So yeah, we got some work to do to try to gain this lead in the points. So let's hop into the car, see what we can do on track, and hopefully come out with a win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. We are about to get down and dirty with some bumping banging, and I cannot wait. Even though I said we need to stay clean this in practice, so he, everybody was mostly running in the bottom, and I... I'm excited. That's bringing back old Bristol, baby. So we could run the to top. You can make time on the top. And I feel like I'll be able to do it because most of these guys are going to be checking up on the bottom, but the way they're racing. But, oh gosh, I was watching them run laps. Okay, I was waiting on the, the paint schemes to download and watching them run laps. Most of them running that bottom. Some of them are running the middle just because, you know, they're being passed, but they're able to compete and show speed. And so <laughs> this is exciting. I'm starting 11th, which is where I'm average starting at. However, we get to going green, which is 90 laps, by the way. We get going great and get into some lap traffic. Things are going to get fun. Now, there are some cars who still have yet to get their paint schemes, like that 13 car in the mirror. Uh, but probably 90% or so have been downloaded and good. I don't know why Trading Pants has those moments, but it's gonna get fun it's gonna get loud it's gonna get so aggressive and i cannot wait <laughs> this is gonna be fun i'm just i'm stoked man this is going <laughs> i hope this goes well <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen without further ado for the third race of the season pace car is off we're waiting for that green flag fire it on boys gentlemen welcome back oh this is this is good this is good oh okay okay i didn't mean to make a three wide oh oh, oh no i got turned caught oh ow all right we're fine oh no now we're flipping oh gosh oh gosh car okay car underneath me it's okay 
Good time of day. I got tapped. All right, well. That didn't go as planned. I wasn't trying to make it three wide. I was trying to play it safe, Radar but. Oh gosh, what do we stop for? Why are we stopped? Let's go, pace car's coming. Oh gosh. Y'all need to figure it out. Look, 23, okay. All right, well, we're gonna skip to the restart completely. I wanna get the car fixed, but um, we're gonna skip to the restart. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are in the tail end of the field right now. Hit it, got my car fixed. I had a, I have two fast repairs set up for little incidents or whatever that, you know, maybe uh, come up during the race. But um, only two though, so we gotta use them wisely. And I feel like today it's gonna be, we're gonna use them both. But we're in the way back. 29th position or 28th something like that but anyway let's get back on the green see if we can gain back what we had oh up 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 I'm sorry I was focusing for a sec had a car getting loose up front. Uh, oh gosh, this is more hectic back here in the back. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to go and I can't. There we go. Guess we're going to use the high side, which I thought we were anyway. We can use the bottom. It does rotate, all right, but. I don't know. It's <laughs> car's a little bit too tight to be competing with those guys up in the top 10, I think. The outside's where I want to be. Back here, it's okay. I mean, the skill gap is kind of distant with these guys. Back here, they kind of stop in the middle of the corner, as you just saw right there. Which is why I'm running the high side, because I get back on the gas early. Like that. Clear him going in. That 36 or 10301 lapper, he's always a lab down car. Every time we get in a race. Passing that guy because he's a lap down. The turn needs to park the car, man. I'm the true number 36 in this race. So we don't need to be having that in this thing. Now, I did not take tires either. I didn't think it needed it, but then again, the more I thought about it after I have already pitted, it's like I kind of slid a lot, but we're still making gains. That's all that matters. Let's be patient here a little bit, see if we get a run. Or this yellow car here of, I don't know, Frank, Tony, whoever, 14, 014. Trying to drive and not hitting anybody here is not easy. Well, well while looking at something. Well, okay. My car seems to do best up top, which is fine. I will try to utilize this bottom to make it Bristol. But Bristol is Bristol on our race, and like the bottom, I don't know, has his moments, but you can see where the track is getting rubbered in on the bottom. The guys are really utilizing that, and I think because of the fact that their car is able to rotate so well, I'm gonna try this bottom, keep using this bottom just for content purposes. It is fun to drive, like, this this is like the Bristol that we should be getting, you know. Oh, 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 right on his bumper. Looking to the inside. He's not gonna give it to me. He's gonna throw it down in there, but then hold me up on center off. <laughs> Try it again. There we go. Excuse me, sir. I'm having a good day. I don't want you to take it away from me. Top 10, boys, if we get around this guy. There we go. Very nice. 
the first pass we've done on the bottom. We are in 10th spot. I feel like we've taken out some good guys in that first incident. I could be wrong, but we are making gains on some of the leaders here. Top 10 guys, which is what we want. I want to keep trying this bottom. I am a big advocate for the bottom lane in iRacing at Bristol, even if it's not made for the bottom. You know, I don't like, I like the top side, but that bottom, it's, come on, buddy, hold me up. But um, I knew though that longer runs, depending on the setup, that right front's gonna thank you later if you run this bottom lane. But that's like I said, it depends on what setup you're running. If it really abuses the right front, running the bottom. So. top side just you're you're carrying so much speed into the corner and on exit that it just burns everything up so quickly and then it gets tight on exit and then you're slamming a wall either on entry or on exit like drifting up in the center so that's why I, I like the bottom no matter what if I can we're making some gains here on this bottom I don't want to keep using the top because of what I just said. I feel like I'm gonna wear my tires out more. The eight. That was a 15, five, one. Oh, the lapper, come on, buddy. Dang it. Oh, Bristol struggles, man. They got a lapper in my way and he's gonna hold me up, make me lose the, the spot I was just about to pass the guy for. And now he's gonna race me tight, you little turd. Bobby Gash. Why are you doing this to me, buddy? I had to run on this 55 up here. And you just had to be in the way. Pushed him out of the way a little bit. Oh, oh. A little bit of that apron. Letting it roll into the corner. Easing back on the gas. I will tell you this, on cold tires, the car really is loose on exit if you ain't careful. It still can be. If you give it enough gas, before, like getting back on it, if you give it enough, it might loop on you, but to be honest, it's actually getting tight. So the more I let it roll, the better, you know, it rotates. But at the beginning of the run, it sure was loose. I mean, the back end just wanted to step out, being there's no grip. But now, warm them up. Definitely warmed him up when we wrecked, so. Definitely fixed that issue. All right, get her on this 22. Outside door. Still there, still there. Oh, boy. Still there. Still there. Man, I'm loving this bottom still lane. There, it's working. Other guys are utilizing it. He's going to, he was trying to look, 22 was trying to cut him off right there. Just got to let it keep rolling through the corner. Just like it was back at uh, Concord, letting that car roll through the center. Especially at three in that, if you remember watching that race. If you haven't, go check the card out up above. I'll put one up. You can check it out, watch that race. But um, gotta let the car roll through the center. Definitely do that with, with this default setup. The only thing I've done is a rear end change. I made it a little shorter where this bottom, I had to have a little bit more drive off and then my steering ratio put up from 10 to one to a 12 to one because I felt like the 10 to one was a little bit too tight here. All right, this lapper up here is extremely slow. Holding some guys up. I just passed a few guys. They gotta figure, this is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hit the 42, 10X, racking up the X's. It's Bristol, baby. We gotta do it. But no damage though. Y'all gotta figure something out, cause I'm gonna pass y'all by bumping you out of the way. That three car, oh my gosh. It's like it has no right rear tire. 
I can't talk. Right uh, rear tire. Rob, there, so. Sound like I'm from the south or something. <laughs> right rear tire. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him drifting that thing. <laughs> Watch this guy. Look at him. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him, but yeah, you can see him. <laughs> He's like, whoa. I'm afraid to be on top. He might go crank it to the right and then lose the sucker. There we go, we're good. P6, you just done. P6, boys! Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Give me 14x, just keep racking them up. I say let's go for the most incident points in a single season. 100% down. Up, 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 up. I'd like to know where fourth, one through four are at, because right now we're just passing fifth. And these guys here, I passed at the start of the race. Oh, the 71 race me hard on the outside. Okay, Josh. Halfway done. Yep. I just saw that halfway to the finish. Oh, 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 they're wrecking big time. Oh, my goodness. Front ends destroyed lap. Oh, my. All right, well, <laughs> I'm pitting for tires and everything, okay? Golly, that wreck was atrocious. And uh, you know, whatever, you know, that was awful. <laughs> Atrocious, my butt. I don't know. Oh my gosh, we got a car on the lid. We 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 got a death in the track, boys. What is going on? Let's go. Stay behind the 15, past the three. Come on, people, let's figure something out. I swear, under caution, these guys just struggle. But anyway. We're going to skip to the restart. I'm going to do my pit stops and I'll catch y'all up in just a few minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to the next restart. Pitted and I found out my right front was at 80%. So we're burning the right front. That is a typical Banksy move to burn the right front up. I always do that in all the races that I get aggressive in, but Sun is out, clouds going away apparently. I thought we were, I had this thing set up to go into the night, but apparently not. So, anywho, we're getting ready to go racing. Had to take a fast repair because I didn't know if my engine was damaged, so I didn't want to take a chance. So, here we go. Back on the green. We're not far off from being in good position from where we were at. Ninth. A lot of cars pitted that run. Some cars stayed out. Like, everybody in front of me stayed out, so. We got the fr Oh no, we got another caution. Oh my. What's with the cautions? Ooh. I hope I don't die here because everybody's flying around this corner. Stop, 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 you dipsticks. Good time of day. All right, well, let's get to the restart. We'll do it all over again. All right, folks, we are back again. Hopefully we get a good green flag run this time around. We're gonna find out. Don't know what happened on that last caution. Something weird. I hope it ain't boogered up or something in the sim. So we'll hope and pray for that. But anyway, starting P9. Or restarting P9. Let's see what we can do. Try to get back some spots, get in that top five, and try to contend for the lead here. So I doubt that. But anyway, here we go. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Green flag, boys! Let's go, let's go. We gotta go, boys. Get that inside line of turning. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, come on. Let me clear this guy. I mean, I don't have to clear the guy. I'll just keep running this bottom at the 24. We'll just get all the way there. Give him a tap on the bumper. Y'all need to figure it out. Here we go. Pinch him down low. All right, check out. Whoop. Dang it. Come on, man. We got to go, man. It can't spend time laps around these guys. Oh, no. What the checkup is this? 24, give it up, please. <laughs> yes, go to the bottom. Just go to the bottom. 
I got freshies. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ah. Now we can start running this bottom. Here we go. Just don't spin out. <laughs> yeah, we got some speed now, boys. I feel the grip. All of the grip. Oh, oh, oh. Three gonna look and block the inside. Holding me up just a little bit. I got fresh tires, so. There we go. Thing rotates pretty good right now. Well, walking up to the wall. Let it roll down in the corner. There we go. Get back up to this fifth spot where we were working at. The 71's got up to second. Now, he was the fifth place car, and we were about to pass him before that caution come out. Get a good drive off. Here we go. Get underneath the 42. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, it wrecked him. That's going to cause a caution. That guy's going to want to pit. Watch it. About two laps. Yellow flag. Hey, gum it. I tried to let off, but it it hit him so hard it went up to the wall. I think we're okay though. I thought that he was gonna cause the caution because the last time I hit somebody it was at Concord and it he messed up, hit some cars going trying to go into pits and there we are. We are catching the leaders here. This is where it's going to get tough because these guys are the fastest ones on the track. Fresh tires or not. Now. I like, oof. Man, I want this thing to go green. We got 30 to go. Plenty of time to get around these fellers. Eh. Let's take it one lap at a time. These two right here battling for second position. I can't talk. But while they're battling, well, now they cleared themselves out. The 16 looks to be quicker. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Look to the outside in case he stops mid corner. No, he doesn't. Get a run off the corner. We're going to the top side. Can it make it stick? There we go. There we go. Cleared him going in on. Right. Oh, dove it down into three. Let's try this bottom again. Keep rolling. Maybe the 71 might have some speed, but I don't think it does. 16 is going to have some run. We're going to the outside, truly to the outside here. Get a huge run off the corner. They ain't got nothing on me, boys. I got the grip of rubber. Which, I mean, I don't know if that makes any sense. But we're grippy as all get out. Oh, oh, tap the wall. We're good. I knew that was going to happen. Thing gets tight. I got to I gotta arc it down lower. Rick Wilson, I'm coming after you, buddy. You better get ready. Because this Dodge SRT is coming in hot. Start rolling this bottom again. There we go. I wanted to pass those guys on the inside, but it just opportunity called right there to run that top. The 16 got around the 71 on the high side and I knew it was going to be slow, so I had to get around them some way. But I'm glad that right now, at least with this setup, there's a mixture of lines. Like, the majority of drivers are running the bottom, as you see. But there is definitely great opportunity on the high side. And I don't think the AI knows it fully, how to run that top. They'll run like a... Like, you see a couple cars up there able to maintain their line and there's pace on that top but 
for me, Nolan Bristol been racing here for years. I know that that top, if you hit it right, it's got some speed off. So, but I like this bottom though. This this is what I like to do better than anything else, as I've talked about before. Just nostalgia feeling, man. Like when the old cup cars come here or something like that, running that bottom. Old Rusty Wallace and Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, Terry Labonte, nostalgia, you know. You get all those feels back in you when you're running this bottom. Just a general Bristol racing back then, you know. Anyway, we're catching the leader, Mr. Rick Wilson. We, we are trucking, dude. We, we, we are not letting them get away so easily. We got a bunch of lap traffic. It's really going to cause some havoc. We got to get going, though, because we got less than 15 to go. I don't want to pass them on the outside. I'm going to try to bottom, but we got that lap car holding us up. I'm going to have to go to the top side. Way up here, drifting way up to the wall. Get this huge run. See, they don't know how to do that. They, they don't have that line ingrained in their memory. So I can run this whoa, all day long and get this huge <laughs> running off and abuse the system. Plus two, we're on we're in the back end of these guys, so whoa. and the fact that we pitted with tires, so. Yeah, I could have been running this top side all along, but Oop, tapped it. But I like the bottom. I like how fun it is to run the bottom. Be stuck behind traffic. But now we got these lap. There's 22x. That's more than we've done all season. Just about. Poor cars seen some abuse this season. Three races in and we're almost over 50. I think, oh, fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. We are almost over 50 incident points in three races. That's not good. Part of it ain't my fault though, so I ain't gonna take full blame. Yeah, we've kind of ditched second place. 2.2 seconds away from those guys. So, I mean, hip, hip, hooray. As long as I don't have a caution. Oh, three wide. That was a thought. Now we're just logging laps at this point. Five to go. We got this one in the bag. If the caution does not come out. Right. Looking good. Clear, 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 clear. One, two, three, four, 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 and I guess 16, number 16 is who's in second place. I, th I think we're good. Like, I don't think they're catching me, but I think those guys are the ones with fresh tires who are finally getting through packed traffic. So maybe it was a good thing I took off like that on this high side. White flag is out. No, ladies and gentlemen, we're rolling down the back stretch. We're gonna roll the top side. Try to get past this 14 car. See you later, sucker. You just got lapped by the 36 of Joshua Banks. Whew. That's how you want to race, boys, with a, with a, with a, with a, with whatever. 
uh, with what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it, but it, uh, hard work, never quit. If I didn't have fast repairs, I would definitely not have this win. So I can't say that this is truly deserved because I kind of had the two fast repairs. However, we had to work through traffic twice or three times. One of the two, I think twice. And uh, here we are, so burn them down, boys. Burn them down. There we are. Let the people know at Bristol, Tennessee that we are here to mean something. Very nicely done, very nicely done. Now, for the signature Banksy spare, uh, uh, spin out, darn out, whatever you call it. Get it to the wall. Burn it down behind us. That's how we burn it down. We're gonna burn it up. Burn it down and burn it up. There we go. All right. What a win. What a race. What a day. That's a pretty good race. So here is the last, not last. I guess you could call it. Second to last caution that uh, we had, that we ran into. This this is the seven car, Pete Resitar. If I pronounced it wrong, please forgive me. But check this out. Guy goes into three, and apparently he's wanting to pit, all right? So what happens is he hits the 30, here we go, boom, and then watch this, locks the whole system up. I mean, locks it all up. I don't get it. Anyway, watch it right here. Okay, we're going to watch it from this perspective because this might show it best. But the guy literally starts locking his tires up right there. You can see him smoking them. And then the 36 is trying to avoid it, plows him in the rear. And here we are trying to avoid all that. And there we go. We get tangled up and everything. And cars are flipping everywhere. Coming around the corner, the 7 definitely doesn't have things figured out. He's trying to pit. Mrs. Pit Road just comes to a stop. Everybody's flipping and dying. The poor A car didn't even have a chance. Poor dude. Now everybody's stacking up. That's pitiful. Look at them. Look at them back there. They're still cracking. I can't figure it out. Oh, poor A car's completely on his lid. All right, so here we go with the next uh, caution. The one, the last one that what, ran out on lap 48 or something. 47 excuse me well watch this watch this crazy stuff so they're going green it's the seven car again getting involved but the zero car up here decides it wants to merge like right now which i mean he's right to merge but he kept coming up next thing i mean he look at that i think it was retaliation the zero car wanted to take out 30 car I, i've said seven earlier it's a set 30 car but Wow, just came up and completely destroyed the 30 car. Put him to his lid, put this guy to the wall. Innocent bystander. But the zero just said, screw you, I'm going on and I'm taking you out with me. Ooh, I thought somebody about died. Anyway, 430, didn't even have a chance. Whole left front is completely caved in. It's done. So this is my wreck. I didn't want to get to, but I think partially wasn't my fault. So the 14, me and the 22, we get going. And apparently he come down, tap me. But at the same time, I'm probably coming up since it's the corner exit. But I thought I was giving him room. But tapped him, killed him, put him to the wall. Somehow that didn't bring out a caution. And uh, they were dirt tracking it. And then we're beating him bank and going down the straightaway. And right there, I guess I hit him just enough to get him loose going into one. Come up and just completely tap me. And about made it until that car hit me. So then I got hit there. Still on his roof. Looks beautiful. Whole left front's weird. And there we go. That was it. My failure of the day. But anyway, those are all the cautions. That's more than the last two races, I think. Pretty close. But thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a thumbs up and subscribe to become a boss today. So as always, the Lord does love you every single day. I'll see you in the next video. 
signing off.